This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Charlie Thompson. In this week's broadcast, kids have fun at Jasper Canyon, and women lead the charge against abuse. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. July is an exciting time for our children as they attend the Vacation Bible Experience being held at a number of our churches in the South Bahamas Conference. The theme for this year's VBS is Jasper Canyon, where every kid is treasured by God. The children have been discovering the important treasures Jesus has given each of them in five days of Christ-centered activities. The Good News Church held their VBS early in the month. Each day, the children began at the dig site where they learned great new songs, skits, and met with Rocky the Rockhound. They connected daily with God through prayer activities that showed them how much Jesus loves them. And they enjoyed crafts as well as healthy and refreshing snacks that reinforced each day's Bible story. The children at the Grandstown and Berea churches began the fun on July 18th and the sessions ended on the 22nd. Here's what the children are saying about Jasper Canyon. I like how everybody is nice and we can make our own food. And I also like how y'all make learning more fun. I like that you can play games, I like the food, and I like, I like that you can be your friends. The fun continues at Jasper Canyon. On July 25th through 29th, the Ephesus Church will host VBS from 2 to 5 p.m and the Hillview Church on Tonic William Starling Highway will also begin on July 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. So sign your children up for VBS, where they will dig into the Bible to find out how uniquely special they really are. And it now is the most important stand the Seventh-day Adventist Church has ever taken regarding violence against men, women, and children. This initiative, which extends to more than 200 countries and territories, was launched in October 2009 in partnership between the Adventist Development and Relief Agency, ADRA, which is a prominent humanitarian organization, and the Department of Women's Ministries of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. This year, through an outreach campaign, more than 15 million Adventist Church members, men, women, and children, are expected to create a global movement that will be mobilized within their communities, where each person will actively work to create awareness and share solutions on ways to end this global problem. The Women's Ministries Department in our conference is leading the charge for an End It Now March, scheduled for Saturday, August 27, 2022, in Nassau, beginning at 4 p.m. at Windsor Park, leading to Rawson Square for a rally. The event will be held under the theme, One Voice. End it now. On Sabbath, August 27th, the South Bahamas Conference will not be alone. Our sister fields in the Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos, and the North Bahamas Conference will all be joining in a march and rally simultaneously. We're encouraging all departments to become involved. It's not just an issue that affects women. It affects men and children as well. And so we are garnering support from the youth ministries, prayer ministries, men's ministries, personal ministries, health ministries, all of the departments we want to, you to come out and join us. We're starting actually on Friday evening with an End It Now service. It will begin at 7 p.m. and it will be via Zoom. Then on Sabbath afternoon, we will converge at the Windsor Park field where we will march from there to Rawson Square, ending with a rally. At the end of this initiative, we would like persons to be aware that there may be someone sitting in the pew next to you. There may be someone sitting in the cubicle next to you. There may be a child in your classroom that are being abused. And we want to be so sensitized to the issue that we're able to see when there is an issue and address it.
coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. On July 23rd, the Gambare and Bethany churches will host a community outreach called We Will Go at the Gambare Village Park from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. The Women's Ministries Department of the Grandstown Church will be talking this week about menopause and what every woman should know about it. The session is going to be held with menopause coach Patrice Lockhart, who will seek to break the taboo and get the conversation going. Women and men interested in finding out more on this important topic can log on to the church's Zoom or YouTube channel at Grandstown SDA. But it will be even better to attend in person at the church on Wellington Street on Sunday, July 24th at 4 p.m. On July 31st, the Maranatha Church family will hold a fun run walk, leaving the Sea Grapes Shopping Center at 6 a.m. Vacation Bible School for children ages 5 through 14 years will be held on July 25th through 29th at the Ephesus Church from 2 to 5 p.m. and at the Hillview Church on Tonic Williams Starling Highway, also beginning on July 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. Public Campus Ministry Convention is scheduled for July 30th, 2022 for parents, professors, students in grade 11 through 12, high school graduates, and college students. This meeting will be held at the University of the Bahamas' auditorium from 5 to 7 p.m. Inquire with the Youth Department for more information on this event. Feel free to visit the South Bahamas Conference website at southbahamasconference.org to receive more information on all of our upcoming conference events. There, you can also view a rebroadcast of our Adventist News Update, along with other local programming from our cable channel, ATV 658. Read the weekly Logos, as well as the Adventist page from the Nassau Guardian. Prostate is a walnut-shaped gland found only in men. Its function is to produce seminal fluids which nourishes and transports sperm. Prostate cancer is the uncontrollable growth of cancer cells in the gland. Almost all cancers of the prostate are malignant tumors formed from structures in the epithelial tissue, meaning that most cases of prostate cancer are very serious and harmful. Some prostate cancers can grow and spread rapidly, but most grow slowly. Factors such as age, race, and family history can increase a man's risk of having prostate cancer. At the age of 50, your risk of having prostate cancer increases. According to Cancer.net, more than 80% of prostate cancers are diagnosed in men 65 and older. Black men are more likely to have prostate cancer rather than white men. They are also at a higher risk of developing prostate cancer at an earlier age and also have tumors that are more aggressive and grow more quickly. Familial prostate cancer is when prostate cancer is inherited through the family. This is said to occur only 20% of the time. Signs of prostate cancer are burning or pain during urination, loss of bladder control, and blood and urine. Treatments include radiation therapy, surgery, and chemotherapy. If you want to reduce the risk of prostate cancer, the Mayo Clinic suggests that you consider trying 1. A low-fat diet 2. Eat more fat from plants than from animals. 3. Increase the amount of fruits and vegetables you eat each day. 4. Eat fish. 5. Reduce the amount of dairy products you eat each day. This has been Carl Kemp with your health tips, courtesy of the Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. Let's go now to the Adventist News Network with our news feature from around the world. More than 27,000 new believers recently joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mexico as comprehensive evangelism efforts culminated with a national online evangelism campaign. 
The coordinated efforts engage thousands of members in spreading the message of hope and salvation found in Jesus throughout their cities, communities, and social media platforms. The online-only series drew more than 2 million people. This resulted in more than 5,000 baptisms in Mexico's five major church regions on the closing day of the series. Themed Esperanza Definitiva, or Ultimate Hope, the eight-day evangelistic series took place using a hybrid setup. A group of 500 individuals viewed the program in person at the Julio Glocker Lozada Auditorium in Pueblo, Mexico, while thousands more tuned in to the one-hour evening messages. Well, that's all for our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. We invite you to share what is happening at your church by sending us your news stories and upcoming events by email to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist news along with other programming or to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, visit our website at southbahamasconference.org. The SBC Media Network's Facebook and Instagram pages are buzzing with a lot of activity from our department. So make sure you check those out and remember to subscribe, like, follow, and share. You can listen to programs on our radio station, Word SBC 88.3 FM, and watch on our television channel, ATV 658, to get updates, insights, and first-hand information from the SBC Media Network as it happens. Our programming from ATV 658 can also be viewed on the South Bahamas Conference YouTube channel, so feel free to watch a recap of our Adventist News. That's all we have for you today for the Adventist News. On behalf of the production team of ATV 658, we would like to thank you for viewing this broadcast. I'm Charlie Thompson for the SBC Media Network. Have a happy Sabbath.